Hello, and thanks for watching my video. This is another video talking about the Heart of Thorns expansion and what type of or what game type you should actually buy since there are various amounts. And I, in the previous video, I actually showed you that I would actually bought the Heart of Thorns, the basic package. And I wanted to show you what you actually get uh, and if it was worthwhile upgrading to the deluxe version. So, as you can see now, because I've purchased it, there is no more buy Heart of Thorns. But what we do have is a, a ability to upgrade to the deluxe version. Now, as you can see, I actually have 2400 gems and that is the cost of actually uh, upgrading. Uh, that I've actually been buying with in-game gold, hence why I'm so cheap and so, so poor at the moment. Uh, roughly 2400 gems uh, is going to cost you around about 400 gold approximately obviously uh, I think some I think it was a slightly cheaper because I'd uh, purchased it purchased them at slightly lower than what they are now but that 2400 gems is all from in-game gold and that is what I'm going to use to buy the gems and therefore actually purchase the deluxe version. Now the deluxe version is on sale, it's an extra, it's a little bit more money, but we do actually have the option to buy the deluxe version in game. Now as you can see uh, that we have the character slot expansion, that's actually what I was saving up for, I wanted to buy two character slot expansion, uh, uh, expansions, um, but you can also get the delu digital deluxe, this is with the original uh, Guild Wars 2 game, you could get the rank bonus, influence bonus, uh, banker golem, a mini ritlock, and a mini uh, a misfire wolf elite skill. So that's what you could get, and it's only 2,000 gems, um, but we actually have the deluxe version of Heart of Thorns. So this is the medium uh, sort of tier game type you can actually buy. You can see here we get an additional character slot, a Heart of Thorns glider skin, a miniature Revenant Ritlock, a Revenant finisher for PvP and World vs. World, and Modromoth's Bane Guildhall decoration. So that's what I'm going to get today, and I wanted to show you, uh, obviously you can see here I've actually bought some items already off the gem store, but I wanted to show you what you actually get for your gems. So here we go, we've actually bought, there we go, you'll see we received two mails, um, that's actually going to take place. Um, what, one of the mails you won't actually realise uh, is an empty one, the second one, but we'll come on to that afterwards. Um, so there we go, we've received our mini Ritlock Brimstone, the Revenant. Uh, there's our Revenant Finisher, the Heart of Thorns Glider, and the Guild Deco Decoration that we can't actually use right now. So that's uh, there, this little uh, note here, that's actually our character slot that's um, actually just been added to our account. So let's have a look, we get the de guild decoration, that's obviously going to come out with guild, with guild halls, so we can't really use that right now. And the glider as well, that's going to come out. But there we go, we got the revenant finisher, uh, not a bad finisher in my opinion, uh, it's sort of kind of cool, the fact you get Ritlock. It should be a miniature Ritlock uh, finisher, which is pretty cool, you know, it should have, like, go, like, have a little animation, like a little sound thing. Uh, we get our Revenant, mini, miniature Revenant, which again is quite nice. I like, I've got all the other men members of Destiny's Edge apart from Ritlock, so now I do. Uh, as you can see here, I'm currently using my mini Largos, because that's a pretty expensive one at the moment. And uh, I, there is the miniature Ritlock Revenant. And I don't think, I could for some reason I couldn't find the miniature Ritlock, um, the other one, the normal one, and uh, for some reason, yeah, it wasn't showing up. So anyway, I, I spent a while looking for it, um, I couldn't manage to find it, but you've got all these other miniatures as well, uh, a lot of other rich miniatures, and generally they cost between like sort of three to five three to six hundred gems so when we're going to go back and talk about what this actual ritlock's worth you could say at a, ma a minimum amount the miniature ritlock revenant if, if it was on the gem store on its own would probably be worth around three to five hundred gems so for those of you wondering if it 2400 gems is worthwhile this is what i'm going to re uh, collect relate it to the fact that some of these items could be worth gems in game uh, we get a glider that we actually unlock the glider there but um, yeah we, we don't actually can't see that right now so that's obviously hidden in our wardrobe I believe somewhere uh, and then we got the get the guild decoration I think there's gonna be a lot of guild decorations that are gonna be on the gem store so that will probably be worth gems in game as well uh, I imagine that particular guild de decoration will probably be worth around 300 gems or something like that. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to log out, and just to show you, you'll notice now I have 21 out of 22 character slots. 
Uh, we have the beta, uh, which we already had, and we actually have this extra character slot. So that was brand new. Straight away, we've got a character slot. Um, so there we go. That is my bonus character slot for Heart of Thorns. Uh, that cost that would have cost 800 gems. So there we go. That is what 800 gems get you. I will say, however, if because I actually have had this game since launch, I am kind of hoping that I get a second one. If not, that's going to be really peeving me off because that will mean that 800 gems have been wasted. Um, so here we go. Let's have a look at some of the other things we get. Obviously, the Revenant finisher we talked about. These are some of the finishes that you can actually buy. Uh, you can see there, obviously, the deluxe, like, deluxe upgrade I have now uh, acquired. But some of the other items that we can actually get in-game and what their gem worth are, there is. So if we actually have a look, again, you know, 2,400 gems is 392 gold. So is 392 gold worth the deluxe version? Well, let's have a look. Well, we've already talked about the miniature Ritlock, Revenant... Uh, we've already talked about the Guildhall uh, um, decoration. There's the character slot expansion. That's 800 gems. So if we say then we want to work out, we want to get something worth for 1600 gems. Okay. So what's the miniature Ritlock? Say if we 300 gems, then what? We'd need around 1300 gems. Um, worthwhile but what else have we got in here well we've got a lot of finishes in the game and i would say this is around about 500 gems because you can see they all have varying different amounts i would say that this finisher could be around 500 gems so that means that i'd say that we needed something worth around eight we uh, are about 800 gems we're looking for in the worthwhile uh, and obviously we mentioned the glider i'm sure the glider skins are going to be on the gem store as well and that will probably be worth 400 and so yeah that is pretty much what you can get out of this um is it worthwhile well it depends on your view on this uh, if you like some of the other skins and such uh if not then it's probably not worth upgrading uh if you have a if you've had the game since launch i, I think you're going to get an extra character slot anyway but if you're not interested in the guild hall decoration the revenant finisher the mini ritlock and generally some of those other you know niche items that you can't get anywhere else then it's worthwhile you know i'm sure these items are going to be pre pretty flashy otherwise i think you should stick with the basic option it's your choice out in the end of the day uh, i hope this has been uh, interesting for you and that you've uh, taken something from it feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below and i'll see you on the next video